Good morning, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Lisa, and today I'm going to be showing you these journals that I have made using authentic cabinet card um, photos from the late um, 1800s, early 1900s. These are authentic, and um, you'll see that they are very, they have a very thick cover. Now I have done some decoupaging with some roses here, making it a little bit shabby on the front cover. I added a little bit of some trim here to the side cover. And I'm just gonna kinda go through these with you real quickly because these are going to get added into my Etsy shop. They are all a little bit different, but they all have some of the same elements. So I'm gonna push these aside and I'm gonna kinda just start with this one saying, we'll call this number one. Now these are very old, so you can see that they have some damage and that is part of the charm of them. So it is not something that is perfect, but I have uh, used my Zetter machine to create these into journals. So I'm gonna kind of go ahead and push this down a little bit so we can get in a little bit closer. And I'm just gonna go through this. Uh, each one of these has about 30 pages. Um, each one of these pages is coffee dyed. Um, some of them are cardstock. Some of them, like this one, has something something paper clipped to it. This one has just a little envelope and a little paper. Some of they have tuck spots. So this and this, what I've decided is that I'm getting ready to get, to use or I'm I'm letting go of some of my authentic ephemera. So this is from 1922, if you look at the age there. And this is a French invoice. So I have some of these in these journals. And you'll see other things as we go through, but this is just a little tuck spot. There's a little pocket here. Now on this one, the tag inside is plain but I have put that there with some ribbon on it so that you can create something with that. And then <clears throat> a little something here on the back as well. And let's see here as we go through that page. This one also has a tuck spot. Let me make sure that you're in frame here good. And on this one, you've got um, a couple things. So this is just some of that lace coffee dyed paper. And then this is just some more ephemera. That that one is a um, a reproduction. So that one is from of the, the digitals that are in my Etsy shop. And then let's see, keep going. There's a little side pocket here. And again, this is a vintage prescription. Um, I don't know if there's a date on this one but um, I know that these are old. So, uh, and this one is from Brenham, Texas. And let's keep going here. And then on the back of this one, there's another tuck spot with just a little journal, journaling card there. And lots and lots of places for you to write. You can write over the top of these that are printed on or on the backs. And then here is another side pocket. And this one has an envelope that does feel like it has a letter inside it. Yes, this one does have a letter inside it or something inside it anyway. Um, this one is dated 1891, February 11, 1891. So it's hard to part with some of these, but I am. And so that, that's some really pretty writing. Um, Wesleyan University, and I'll go ahead and put that in here. And then let's see on this one, you've got some Tim Holtz people here. And again, that is created to be like a, like a tuck spot. So you could tuck something in behind there. And then let's see, keep going here, more pages. So I, like I said, I believe that there are about 30 pages and this one has a, a tuck spot here. So it's got a little printed something here and another little document here. Again, this one is not vintage, but um, it is printed on both sides. So since that's 30 pages in each one of these front and back, that gives you 60 pages to write on. And then here is another tuck spot. 
And this one has a letter in it as well. Let's see if this one has a date, 1925. So that one is another one. Well, if I can get that back in there, there we go. And keep going here. And then here you are at the back of the journal. So that is the front and the back of that one. So we'll say that that one is number one. And then here is number two. And you can also see here the, there's a little bit of damage, not maybe as much on this one, and that I have done the decoupaging with um, some pretty roses. This one just has the trim down at the bottom. And on this one, it has a really pretty inside. It doesn't have, oh yeah, actually it does have a date. On this one, it says 1889, tiny little print down here, if you can see that. And then we'll go ahead and go through this one. This one has a little pocket here with a tag. On this one, I did add a little bit of lace on that one. And it's got a little thing here on the back as well. A side pocket here. Now this one is just a printed digital. That one is from the digitals in my shop. And again, uh, on the bottom of the video or here in the description of the video, I will put a link to my Etsy shop where these will be listed for sale. And I'll put um, the discount code for any digitals that are in my shop. Um, this one also is one of the digitals in my shop that I created that tuck spot with. And then this one is an envelope that has 1915 postmark. Uh, this one does not have anything inside it. And then let's see, we'll keep going. And now <clears throat> this one I can see here has another tuck spot. We'll bring that in. And this one has an envelope that has 1932. And this one also feels like there's nothing inside that envelope. And here there's another, this one has a fussy cut side tuck spot with a tag plain tag. And then here you've got your little Tim Holtz people that also create a tuck spot. And here's another little tuck spot with one of those French invoices that are from 1922. And then a side pocket here with a printed coffee dyed um, French document here as well. And then this one also has a tuck spot with a postcard from 1927. So that has some nice handwriting on it. And then one more of these little pockets back here with a little plain tag. And almost to the end of this one, and that is the back cover. So again, we'll show you the front cover, and then that is the back cover. So that one would be number two. And then we have number three here. I'll bring that up so you can see a little bit closer. Like I said, again, there is a tiny bit of damage. It's, it's you know, it's not perfect. Let's see on this one if there's anything on the inside of that one. So this one does have the lace down the side and the rose on the front. This one does not have um, anything on the inside of the front cover. So we'll just go through those pages quickly. And then this one has a side pocket here. And in that pocket, you've got one of the prescriptions, again, from Brenham, Texas, um, a little envelope here that has 1918 stamped on it. And then um, this one is just a printed digital from the digitals in my Etsy shop. So that all is just here in that little pocket. So 
more pages. And then here you've got another little um, tuck spot. And this one, I don't know if it has a date on it, but it is also a very old, looks like it was a torn envelope. Oh, there's a stamp inside there too. And then um, another little card here that has 1943. That one's like a little jewelry type card envelope. So we'll put those back in the pocket and keep going. Another side pocket here. Um, that one just has a, like a little postcard kind of thing in it. That's not, uh, um, that one is a digital, not authentic. And then this one has an up tuck spot here with an vintage envelope that has um, Warrington, Texas. I know where I got this. <laughs> um, let's see, I don't see a date on it though. Let's see if there's anything inside here that has a date. Um, 1920, August 17th of 1920. So it was from LaGrange, Texas to Warrington, Texas. Um, which is some of my favorite places to shop since I am here in Texas. And I'll keep going. And then this one, I just have a little envelope that is just paper clipped here onto that page. And then there's the little pocket here with a little plain tag has a little something there on the front and the back of that one. And this one has a tuck spot with again, one of those French invoices from 1922. And then this one also has a little seed packet envelope that I have um, cut out one of the digitals that is again is from my Etsy shop and put on the front of that. And then another one of the Tim Holtz people that creates a little tuck spot here. So you could stick something in behind her. And here I did one of the uh, waterfall little writing things here. So that's just paper clipped in. So that could be taken out and more pages. Let's see what's paper clipped onto this one. Just a little printed postcard. And then that is the back cover. And so then again, we'll see the front and the back. So that one would be number three. Here is number four. Again, it is not a reproduction. That is a vintage, authentic cabinet card. Um, I've added the roses to the front and the lace to the side. And on the inside of this one, it does have the pretty uh, back to it, but it doesn't say a date. I don't see a date on it anywhere. Um, then here are the pages. This one, I made a little pocket, and inside that pocket, you've got just a, a printed document. And um, this digital is from my Etsy shop as well. I thought that really went nice there. And then you've got another little tuck spot here, which has a vintage... Um, this one is from 1930, French invoice. And then let's see. And then this is a little tuck spot here with just um, a back of a postcard. That's a digital, that one is a printed. Uh, let's see, on the other side here though, you do have an envelope and this one has this one is vintage, and this one is from 1912. So I am tr starting to part with some of my actual stash of vintage things. Um, I had bought these cabinet cards a long time ago with the intention of doing something like this, and I've just now finally gotten around to doing it. So. Hopefully I can get some more of the things that on my list done. Um, again, I do work a full-time job, so it is hard to find the time to do all the things that I wanna do. But here again um, is one of the Tim Holtz people 
and let me get something else that would kind of go underneath here easier let's see so you can see that she is created as a tuck spot so you could put something inside under in her there and then on the back of that one again you've got one of these little coin envelopes that is from 19 it says 1925 i don't know for sure but it does have that date on it but and then let's see here another little tuck spot this one is from the digital in my etsy shop that little bird is um i'm not sure where this one came from but it is printed it is a digital but i just thought it went pretty there and let's see again so many pages lots and lots of pages um and this one has a little tuck spot here with an envelope dated 1913. This one feels like, nope, there's nothing inside it. Oop, missed a page there. Some of that needed some aged tape on it. And, and some of it's just faux aged tape. And then a little side pocket here. Again, this is a French invoice from 1932, authentic. And another little pocket here with um, just an inventory tag that is plain, does have ribbon in it. And then a side pocket here with one of those prescriptions from Brenham, Texas. Another little envelope with a tag. And then that is the back of that one. And then, so there's the front, and then that's the back of her. So that would be number four. This one is number five. Um, this one does have a little bit of damage. Now you can see that I decoupaged the flowers on the front and that those are a little bit grungier. Um, she is a little bit darker, has some damage. I had to trim off the top because it was so damaged. And you can see right here that there is some damage. So this one will probably be a little less expensive than the other ones because it is more damaged, but it does have just as many pages and it's got you know all the little wonderful things inside still very pretty it's a smidge smaller than the other ones simply because i did have to trim down that cover and so this one has a tuck spot here with an envelope from 1948 and that one does have a letter inside so i won't pull out the letter but we can see that there is a letter of some kind inside and then keep going on this. And then here are your Tim Holtz people that you could tuck something behind. That one is on a nice thick piece of paper. And then on the back of that paper, you've also got a side pocket with one of these French invoices, again from 1922. And then, let's see, on the back of this one, there is a nice tuck spot with an envelope from 1914, and that envelope definitely has a letter inside as well. And then paper clipped onto this one, you have one of these little waterfall um, writing pads with different papers. And let's see, Mr. Page, that one has a nice tuck spot here on the back. Again, it's just got a little journaling card. This one is from the Digitals in my Etsy shop. And then uh, back here, there is a side pocket. Uh, again, this is just a um, printed page for writing on, but it's just a pretty color, pretty flowers. Used a lot of florals in these because I just thought that they were so pretty, but I also kind of wanted to keep it on that vintagey, grungy side. And this one just has a paper clipped in postcard. Again, that one is a digital. 
but here on this one, you do have one of the prescriptions from Brenham, Texas that is very old. And then that is the back cover. So on that one, that's the front, and then that is the back. So that would be number five. And then the very last one here, number six. Um, the cover on this one is a little bit darker than the others, but again, I do have the, uh, the rose here on the front and the lace down the edge. Again, you can see that this is very old. It is a little bit damaged. There is not, it is not perfect. And, but that is part of the charm. On this one, the inside of it says that it is from the Southwest Square of San Marcos, which is also here in Texas, not far from me. And this one had some writing on it. Now I thought maybe I would be able to erase that off because it looked like it was in pencil, but it did not come off. Um, but I thought that I, I almost covered it up, but I decided that that would be um, adding to the charm of how old this is. So again, we'll continue on. Um, this is one of my favorite pages. I love that, those roses. And then <clears throat> keep going here. And again, like I said, each one of these has about 30 pages or so. So that one has a postcard here that is from, I'm trying to see if there's a date. Looks like 1885. Very cool. I'm gonna wish I had kept that one probably, but oh well, <laughs> I love them. I love all of this old stuff. And then more pages. And on this one, I put a journaling card in. And you've got something there on the back as well. I like that paper a lot. And oh, I need to add something to this one. So before this one gets sent out, I definitely will add something vintage to that pocket. And I'll do one of those French invoices if I haven't got one in here already. And then this one, I thought that was kind of a nice thing. I wish I would have done this in all of them um, so that you'd have a good little calendar from your weekly calendar. And then more pages, another one just lined writing paper. This one has a French invoice from 1922, is what it looks like. I can't tell if that's a 02. No, maybe that's a 32, 1932. I can put that back in there. And again, you've got the Tim Holtz people here that create like a tuck spot. Well, I believe it does. Yeah, there we go. So that one, you could stick something in there. And lots and lots of writing space in all the backs of all of these. And again, just another little tuck spot here with a, a tag. Yep, and then another little tuck spot here with an envelope. That one looks like it is from 1923. And that is the back cover of this one. So that is, again, the front, and then that is the back of that one. So that would be number six. So again, all six of these will get listed into my Etsy shop. Um, and I will again link the shop and the discount code for the digitals in my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate you so much. I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. And I, if you don't already subscribe, I would love it if you would subscribe and leave me a comment and I will definitely respond to you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.